Justin, it is nice to meet you. How are you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Actually, really excited to talk to you. Uh, just due to the fact that uh, I'm actually in my local market and in the Central Valley, I'm now a producer for a newscast. So I kind of get a little bit of behind the scenes of, of uh, <laughs> you know, what you guys go through. Um, and I think my my first question really I want to ask you is this is this hosting a, a TV show like like E News is that something you always wanted to do growing up or is this like a pivot <clears throat> from something else you no, wanted to well, work on? I think on? anybody in my profession, you know, growing up and wanting to do anything in TV hosting, E News was and is the pinnacle. You know, you, if you're serious news, it's the Today Show. Mm -hmm. But if you love pop culture and you love being a host or a presenter, E! News was that. It's like a model getting in vogue. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. so um, obviously you, you enjoy what you do. Tell me a little bit, what, what, is your day, what is your day like when you get into the office and preparing for, for that nightly show? You know, it's interesting. Preparing for the nightly show is much easier than doing my previous daily show. Um, you know, we have a group of people on our team who are not only lovers of pop culture, but are really excited to bring it to you in such a different way than it's ever been brought to you before. Um, Cause our show is really like no other. Um, mm -hmm. So for me, it's more about getting in, vibing with my co-hosts, talking about some of the things that we're gonna talk about, but really just, getting in that space to really entertain and inter and inform. So, you know, when I get into hair and makeup, you know, my day is, is starting just giving that energy to people and getting that energy from people and seeing what other people think about, you know, what we're talking about. And if they're excited about it, people who work in pop culture, then we know that our audience is going to be excited about it. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine how fun that must be to always be able to, to, to you know, talk movies, music, television. Uh, do, do you, as you're, you're more aggressive, your hair and makeup, do you ever get like, you know, alerts of things happen that all of a sudden gets you more excited about the news? Like, oh, this just broke on so-and-so and, and you know, are you or do you unplug at times? Oh, no, never. You never <laughs> unplug, you know? You just never know. And it's funny because you meet people, and I get this. I totally get this. If I met my favorite football player or if I ran into LeBron James, like I would want to be able to talk to that person about the love of the sport or something that happened. And people want to talk about pop culture. Like, you know, mm -hmm. if I'm getting a bikini wax, my waxer is going to be like, so what did you think about Lindsay Lohan? And I'm like, Oh, but I want to give them to it. I want to give them that moment. You know, it, it happens all the time. So I could never unplug because I could never not be ready for those moments. Yeah. And you can, and I mean, one day, and it's happened to me oftentimes, you know, unplugging for one day in, in news and especially in entertainment, you can miss a lot. Am I, am I right? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Can no you hear problem. me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Let me see. Something went wrong with my computer. Oh, no. I know this question was going to be good, though. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Oh, perfect. So my AirPods went out. What was that? Oh, no. I, um, I, I said, uh, yeah, just following up on your saying, you know, unplugging for a day or two from entertainment, you can fall behind and... <laughs> and try to catch up on the day and the last day and then where am I? It, it's it's incredible. You know, it's it's so crazy. You know, I used to do this thing where I would, and I still do it. When I go to dinners, I leave my phones at, at home. Um, if I go on a trip, I won't bring my phone to the beach or to the pool. I'll keep it in the room and just come back and check messages. And it is kind of great to unplug every now and then because the glory of like going in your bathtub, sitting in mm -hmm. the tub and then reading everything you missed that day, you almost forget, you know, what it was like to not have alerts on your phone all the time. And I, I, I think people should do that more often. I don't scroll until later in the night and it is really, it just brings you back to like a day you'll never have again. Mm, do you do that with uh, with the red wine, or is there a drink you prefer to do to uh, 
sit back and relax with. Oh no, I'm sitting. I'm sitting here with a little bourbon, a little maker. Okay, bar, yeah, 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 and squirreling. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Well, you know what? Since I had that same opportunity, uh, being able to talk to a presenter about all things pop culture, we, we just went through the Academy Awards. You guys had a fabulous kind of wrap up show. Um, what are you looking forward to now in 2023? What's the next? What's the next? Um, what's the next kind of milestone for the year in in, in entertainment? You know, I think seeing Halle Bailey. Um, in mm -hmm. Little Mermaid is going to be something that is not only culturally epic, but I think epic for the world to see. Um, and Melissa McCarthy as Ursula, I grew up on it, that tale. And just to see it reimagined with a artist and actress that I truly respect. And I think a lot of people do have that connection with her. But just to see how her star is going to rise in the next year, is going to be phenomenal. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent agree with you. Not a hundred percent sure how I feel about the the animated animals because you know you're used to seeing them in one way, and so then when it's like, <laughs> oh wait, no, so you know he is actually a crab. Wait a minute, or you know, <laughs> just you decide. Oh, flounder is a fish. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It really is going to be an interesting take. But did you see the preview? Oh yes, yes. It was better than I expected. Yeah, they hit that iconic moment with the waves behind, with the splash behind her. And it was like, oh, yeah, that's that's it right there. Here we go. Here we go. So if anybody is upset about her being Black, I think that preview, that trailer really did make them check themselves at the door. Yeah, no, she's, she's you know, she's hitting the vocals. They, they got the visuals. It's, it's going to, I think it's going to outshine some of the other ones that they've done in the past. 100%. <laughs> so, you know, it just, uh, I I mean, I would appreciate this information just as well as so many others. Uh, some advice on, on you know, people moving up in the ranks of, of the entertainment world, the news world, and, you know, what what advice would you have for, for those? My advice, I have two pieces of advice for people. One is um, find that thing because everybody has that thing. Um, I like to find that thing within me that I know that people are not presenting right now that would be different. Um, and it's something that you don't necessarily know if it's gonna work, but it's your calling card. It's that one thing. And what you do is you look at the person that came right before you and you see it, the thing that makes them work and you go ahead and you put those two things together and you mm -hmm. present it that way. Like, oh, I'm a lot like him, but this is what I have as well. It's kind of sort of how I always go into things um, because obviously it worked for this person for 10 plus years. So mm -hmm. I need to be able to bring that over with me. And the other thing I always tell people is um, it, go somewhere and and grow and then come back to where you think you want to be. I think a lot of times when you work at companies, you have to go outside that company and prove yourself elsewhere or on other platforms so that they can see that, oh, this person is not only wanted, but he can do the job so well that other people want him or her. Uh, and mm. I think that's really important. I don't, I don't, I think it's in any industry, you know, I, I told a friend of mine has been following this advice and, you know, went from an assistant to, you know, and the next step up would be like a um, production a PA or um, mm -hmm. an associate producer. But the fact that she flipped to another company, she got a higher role and then came back to another company, the same company that she started at with a higher salary and a better um, title. So mm -hmm. I think just finding those opportunities at other places to go and learn and then come back is super, super important. It's really, really sound advice. Justin, it was really nice to meet you. It's nice <laughs> Thank to talk you to so you much. Nice minutes. to meet you too. You're like, oh, wow, you're too deep. Like that was deep. No, it was good. It's good. <laughs> you know, sometimes these, sometimes these interviews are so helpful for me because like I told you, I'm, I'm, you know, behind the camera, I'm working, you know, trying to put these shows together. So getting to talk to you is a privilege because oh. I, I get to, I get to, you know, take a little, take a little bit of knowledge from you. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs>
Again, nice to meet you, Justin. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Hopefully we talk soon. You again. too. Yes, please.